This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by We Use Coins. There's a wonderful plan, and actually Mark Edge is, is involved with this, and it's called the Free State Now. And that is a way, actually about six months ago, they managed to up the counter, which, you know, is kind of, you know, it inches up slowly because I think the pledge for many of us is less important than actually having the bodies here, like having movers, having people like the Andersons just came in from California. You know, you just having people, every time we have more bodies, we have more success. Um, so f the way Free State Now works is they got us an extra 500 signers over a six month period and they pay to recruit. So you get 10 bucks a head if you get someone to sign the pledge. So I would highly encourage you, you know, if recruiting is what you're interested in, go check it out. It's um, freestatenow.org. We also did um, Where is John Galt when Atlas Shrugged came out, and we made really cool t-shirts, and this was uh, Lawless's brainwave. And, <laughs> and they, would go and they would do outreach for the Free State Project, obviously, where uh, the movie was being shown. We had a great, great, great Liberty Forum this year. I mean, the other thing that gives me so much hope for the future in terms of the Free State Project is the caliber of speakers and other interested parties that want to be associated with us. I mean, I'm sure most of you have looked at the program by now, and when you go over that list, like half the time, I don't even know who I want to go, although it's planned so well that it's spaced out well as well. Um, but, you know, there, there's just a slew of some of the greatest minds that are talking about, you know, the issues that are so fundamentally important to us, our own individual sovereignty and liberty. So, and, you know, and we've done a lot of outreach. We've been all over. I, you know, went to Vegas and I went to San Diego and, you know, we have speaking slots. And I'll get random emails from people. Some guy, I had no idea they'd even filmed it. And or they made a podcast of all the speeches at uh, Freedom Fest and this guy emailed me and he was like I had never heard about this but this is like right up my alley so you never know where that outreach is gonna happen and where someone's gonna say where you're just gonna speak to someone and really talk to them it's we, we're lean and tight and um, we need we need some help and we had someone in our community who also needed our help. Chris uh, Lopez was in a tragic, you know, terrible accident where the deck of her house collapsed and she fell a story and she broke her back and she's paralyzed from the waist down. She used to work in the service industry. She was a hard worker. She was very well respected where she worked. And you can't be in the service industry and be in a wheelchair. So she was sort of trying to figure out solutions. Her family wanted her to move back to where she was from originally. And she said, no, this is my family now and I want to stay here. And so we kind of all put our heads together and I was like, let's find a market solution. Um, so we raised the money and she's going to be starting on July 1st. She'll be working 10 hours a week. She'll be doing things like sending out the welcome letters, doing our database management, helping with the newsletter, helping with sort of keeping Gmail lists clean. I mean, it really, because everything is invisible to everyone, I don't think folks always have the appreciation for what those unseen little, you know, Santa's little elves and helpers do behind the scenes. But, you know, there, there are people dedicating an incredible amount of time. All right, so, the future, dong, dong, dong. All right, who wants jetpacks? Free jetpacks for everyone who recruits 10 people. <laughs> but we have to build it. <laughs> um, so we do have some things coming up. We are um, converting uh, the Free State Project into a 50C31 robot. Da -da. Yes, it's going to get that bad. <laughs> All right, no, into an actual nonprofit. And the advantage of that is that's going to actually l allow us to go after the bigger donors. I mean, there is money out there. There are people who will support these ideas. I would love to be able to send a postcard to some really, really rich people that just says, if you give me a million dollars cash in a suitcase, I can deliver a state. <laughs> 
And that's what we should be thinking about, right? So, um, but that's not under the purvey of the Free State Project, but that would be something that activists who wanted to work in the system might want to consider. Bitcoins, the world's first practical internet cash. A nightmare for governments to try and control. Inflation and counterfeit resistant. They return you some control over your money. And a new measure of anonymity. A lot cheaper to use than PayPal. You can use them to buy tax-free cigarettes. And almost anything else. I accept Bitcoins. So can you. Get started at We Use Coins dot